This right here is how to install Roblox shaders. This is going to be a quick and easy tutorial on how you can actually install Roblox shaders. So you want to start off by googling or just any browser that you do use, type in roshade.com. If you just type in roshade, it should just come up as the first one. Yeah, it's this one right here, so it should be the top one that does normally come up. But yeah, anyway, so once you are on roshade, you want to start off obviously right here, press this download button right here and it will come up with this. So you can get the free one if you want, you can get this one, but obviously, obviously I don't think anyone's going to be buying that. So of course get a free one to so press download right here and from here press ignore right here and then press agree to whatever this license agreement is and from here now this does come up often this like, little advert but as you see at the top right it will say please wait one second right here and once you do wait a little bit it will say this skip button so you want to press skip right here and you'll be brought to this page right here and this does look a bit weird but Trust me, this is how it works. This is the official website and everything like that. So from here, of course, you want to press download. So I'm going to press download right here. And it should be pretty quick. It is quite small and boom, you do have the uh, actual program installed. So right here, I'm going to press right here, pressing these arrows and press open right here. And it should take a bit of a while to upload. Obviously, I do already have it installed. So I'm going to press install again. And right here is the key bind. So this is what the key well pretty much the buttons on your keyboard what you'll be pressing to pretty much open it up and open and closing it so press next right here and yeah so you want to have all these ticked off so make sure you do have all these ticked so these are all the different effects that it does have so i'm going to press install and yeah it should take quite a while shouldn't it shouldn't take too long obviously but it doesn't take that much to be fair and yeah right here finished thank you for using roshi you can support me by following my robots account so we're gonna go into a game to see how this actually looks right now so let's just go into murder mystery 2 it's not really a game with much effects onto it it's just quite boring and yeah you should see at the top right here a uh, roshi blah 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 it will say something about roshi but yeah so from here we are going to press right here we're going to press the f8 button when it does actually load up into the game right now is it going to load so f8 and it should come up how different does this look so like this okay that looks a lot better look at this right here so this is like this is looking decent right now so obviously if you don't like what it looks like right here obviously if you press f7 Right here, it will come up with all the stuff you can press. So, ambient lighting, there's radiant, there's from here. A lot of people do actually use cinematic right here. It does look pretty cool to be fair, having the cinematic uh, effect. But you can actually change to whatever you want. So, ambient lighting is probably the most popular. But obviously, you can play around with it a little bit on these little uh, bar things right here, which is good. If I just turn this up, what does it look like? I don't really like that to be fair. Let's just pull that down to like quite low. This one right here, what does this one do right now? I'm not, oh yeah, actually, to be fair, I'll put it at 100 actually right now. Uh, there is the cartoon effect, there's the bloom, which obviously you do need to fiddle with it around a little bit just to make sure it's actually good because obviously this does look a bit weird right now. But yeah, obviously these are all the default settings. I'd recommend definitely to go change it around because obviously it's not the best when you first start up. It is something you should really just have a look around, have a play around, see what's good, see what doesn't work. Uh, let's see this one right here. This one doesn't too, do too much. Clarity, that looks a lot better. Look at this right here. It does feel like a lot better having clarity. I would actually recommend clarity right now. Pull that up. Let's pull it to a five. But yeah, so this is the difference pretty much. This is the normal game. This is the actual game. As you see, is a lot more graphics. Like obviously, right here, if you look at the pipes, there's nothing there. But now there is right here, so it is definitely a lot better. Obviously, I do have a decent PC, so it can run more stuff. But obviously, if you don't have an amazing PC, it might be a little bit slower to some people. So yeah, I just recommend to just have a little play around, see what works, see what doesn't, and yeah.